Okay, so I'm just going to look at the rhythm for the rumba. Um, we've studied this in class, but this is just for some practice. So the rhythm is played on the one, and then you play the upbeat of two, and that usually is a sustained sound, so it gives a syncopation. So when you play on the upbeat and you sustain your note, that displaces where the down force is in the music, and that's what syncopation is. And then you play on four. With the rumba as a style, they also come in a little early on that upbeat, so it makes it more exciting. And it's supposed to sound like the way a horse dances. If you haven't seen that, look up the Lipinzala Stallions, or Dancing Horses, and watch a video on them. They're amazing, um, and you'll see the way the horse moves. It's a really peculiar but also stunning way of dancing. doing there in my right hand, in my strumming hand, is I'm strumming down, and then flicking up on the upbeat, and then strumming down again, but I'm actually giving it a rischiato, it's a bit of a flick. And people have different techniques because our hands are different, but I use my two and three there on the four. So practice that for a bit, change through the chords, maybe use your primary triads, B minor, E minor, F sharp minor, and then change that to the harmonic minor scale by putting this F sharp minor as a F sharp major. That gives you that seventh leading tone. Something like that, you invent the pattern. Um, and then we'll look at uh, the technique that's used um, that's a bit more uh, true to flamenco. So that's an easier way of doing it. Um, that sounds approximately okay. And the real way of doing it um, is they, they do, often they use golpe, which is to use the third finger and just tap the guitar top. I'm actually um, rolling my thumb, or raking my thumb down the chord and hitting the top at the same time. Give this a go, it's really tricky. Do your roll first, and it's a bit more of a flick than a roll. So, so my thumb's actually moving circular, sort of down into the string a bit. And then you, I hit the top at the same time with my third finger. That's tricky, try that. and get them to work together. Much like how a drummer practices hitting their kick drum and their snare simultaneously when they need it for a beat. Boom, do, boom, do. So we have to use the same idea of um, practicing. Um, that's synchronization of the hand. Maybe try for a bass of the chord first. Just a few notes and then try for the full chord. Cool, now the next part is to flick up with the thumb. This is all thumb work. Um, you can actually use your finger as well. Um, so there's down, that's that upbeat that we're sort of uh, making it sound like a horse. It's the horse upbeat. give that a go. <laughs> it's tricky, but have fun with it. The main important thing is to have fun and eventually I think you'll find your own way of doing it and then you figure out the rhythm to make it sound like it's the right, uh, the, at least the right rhythm of the sound. 
and there are other ways of doing it such as strumming down at the same time. I'm actually strum uh, doing a raschiato with my first finger and tapping the top at the same time. And a good way of developing raschiato is actually to um, is just do this and work on the evenness first and then eventually it becomes this lovely you'll find when you first try it, it's more of a or a bit disjointed